You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, one thing that we did not think about when Caleb Williams decided to not go over and do the full blown medical exams for these NFL teams at the NFL Combine in the way that everybody else did. Say that out loud. We did not think about the fallout around that. Now, while I understand it's not Caleb Williams' responsibility to worry about Justin Fields, well, you could say professional quarterback to professional quarterback courtesy. Eh, it's not a great look, I don't think. Because the fact that Caleb Williams has decided to pass on those medical exams has now affected the Chicago Bears, whether they decide to take Caleb Williams or not, and it will now affect Justin Fields. And where they're going to trade him, how they're going to trade him, look, everybody pretty much thought that the Falcons, the Falcons were probably in on Justin Fields, and maybe that was, that's what he was celebrating on video. Well, maybe not. There's some, there's some fire brewing out there about Kirk Cousins and the Falcons. Now... I don't know if it's got anything to do with this. But it seems, because Caleb Williams felt like he had to buck the system, I still don't get the point. I know he's taking a lot of fire over this. I think deservedly so. It's a, it's a, to me, it shows that he feels like before he's even in the league, he's entitled to something that everybody else, everybody else did this. Patrick Mahomes did this. Every, every, first overall pick ever did this i'm not sure what this guy's issue is with just following the way the system is made to set up but here we go caleb williams passed on the medical exams at the nfl combine and that could alter a timeline for a trade of justin fields or the number one pick so if the bears wanted to flip the pick to somebody else Because they don't have the medicals done, they can't do that. According to NFL Network's Peter Schrager, the Bears hold the top selection and most analysts believe they'll draft USC quarterback and trade their former first-rounder, Justin Fields. Well, I'm going to give you a statistic about Caleb Williams that should have you worried if you're a Bears fan. But without Williams going through drills and the medical examination in Indianapolis, there's pause. Whether the Bears decide to keep fields and trade the top pick or vice versa, that process is now on hold. Wow. Oh, my God. Quote as detailed on Good Morning Football, Caleb Williams passing on doing medical exams at the Combine could alter the timeline for a trade. Schrager wrote on Twitter, Quote, it's hard to imagine Chicago would trade the top pick or Justin Fields or a team would trade up to one before a thorough medical. Whatever that means for Williams' physical health remains to be seen. It seems as though Williams and the Bears have mutual interest, of course. But without a medical examination, the Bears can't make an official decision on Justin Fields or the top pick. The Bears met with Williams this week in Indianapolis as the pre-draft process hit its next stage. It was a brief meeting, but it was the, quote, first date as Chicago decides what it wants to do at quarterback. As for how the meeting went with GM Ryan Poles and head coach Matt Eberflus, Williams said there wasn't much room for small talk. That will likely come with the first in-person visit down the road. Quote, they were awesome. Caleb Williams told reporters, I spoke more about ball and things like that just because these interviews were so short. It was more about them getting to know me, getting to test my mental, and that I know base things of what it takes to be a quarterback in the NFL. It goes on to talk about the fact that this guy once won a Heisman Trophy, which we have found out that doesn't mean a lot in the NFL. So... This very interesting statistic got dropped out here a few days ago, and it's just now making the rounds real good. Of quarterbacks drafted in the first round since 2013, Caleb Williams has the longest time to throw. 
All right, 3.26 seconds. Second longest, Justin Fields at 3.12. And he goes on to say, I'm not sure why Caleb Williams is so certain to go number one. Yikes. What that ties to, folks, is this was prior to draft. All right, prior to draft in college. Here's a statistic, Justin Fields, and how's that, how that translates. Justin Fields has 135 sacks in the NFL, meaning he's holding the ball way too long. We're talking about Justin Fields. He's holding the ball way too long. Caleb Williams holds the ball even longer. That's, that's a pretty scary statistic. If you're the Chicago Bears or if you're a Bears fan, the idea that this guy held the ball longer in college than Justin Fields did? Yikes. That's not a good sign because when you get to the NFL, D linemen and defensive ends and linebackers are all faster than they are in college, which means they get to you a lot quicker if you don't get the ball out. By the way, some of the best ones that I've seen over time as far as getting, getting rid of it, Quick in college, it just so happens those quarterbacks translated. Brock Purdy was among the highest. Patrick Mahomes was among the highest. I'm pretty sure both those guys just made the Super Bowl and took each other to the very end in overtime to finish the game. I mean, that's not a great sign if you're looking at... at, at, uh, Caleb Williams, and if you're a Bears fan thinking you're fixing to get this massive upgrade, by the way, Jaden Daniels and Drake May weren't very good either about getting the ball out super quick. But of most, most of the quarterbacks that are successful in the league today got it out quick in college. And that's regardless of round, regardless of quarterback. There's some that hasn't tra- translated. For example, Lamar Jackson, MVP. But then again, he gets to the playoffs, defenses get better, you got to throw from the pocket, you got to have better pocket presence. What what happened? Lamar Jackson hasn't hasn't done anything in the playoffs. That's some real eye-opening analytics to think about when it comes to Caleb Williams and I never even never even crossed my mind and shame on me for not catching the idea that if this guy doesn't go through his medicals, it's going to stop everything. And I went back to look. For example, you may be thinking, well, they wouldn't announce a a trade of Justin Fields anyway, right? Wrong. I went back and looked. The Kansas City Chiefs announced they were trading Alex Smith to the Redskins January 30th of that year. So they could announce it. They could have, have agreed in principle on a trade already. All right, but and they could come out and say, well, this trade's not going to be done, of course, until the league year starts and we can officially sign the paperwork and fax the stuff in to the NFL. But they can announce the trade. Justin Fields has been traded to the Falcons, Vikings, Raiders, Steelers. Oh, we can't do any of that because we don't exactly know everything we need to know about Caleb Williams. So, double middle finger to you, Justin Fields, from Caleb Williams. He just affected your value and your ability to know exactly what it is, where it is you're going to go. Now, the other thing, free agency, by the way, starts before those pro days. I looked. Meaning, somebody like the Falcons, somebody like the Steelers, Somebody like the Raiders that might be in on Justin Fields could say to hell with it and sign a free agent quarterback. Patriots, another one. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.